You know I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. I missed you, a lot. And I missed you, but we'll have plenty of time to make up for that. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. Nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Shit. Mountain Pass is beautiful as ever. Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? Why? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. 
She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. See why you were so eager to practice. Strike. You're not in the circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Not this time. Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. Showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet.
Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in a tub, and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wildlands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way, it means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm. At least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it, your dream? No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri'd appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain... situations. Mm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. 
But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. <laughs> Lost your nerve? Pages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Third skull in black crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about all these <laughs> creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Temeria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. It's gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly. But griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it. Alive. Piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail? Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure. Use a good rye, 
Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Show me what you got. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest to the mountain, sure. But here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Oh! Went missing one day, so folk nag a witch that was hunting nearby and started poking him ass. When he started twisting and squirming, so wham bam, they knocked his head off. Some clowns that had sat on them. Witch off, and not to do it. What did the folk do? coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And, seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin. Others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in war. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Show me what you got behind the counter. for a woman, raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Thanks. 
for everything. you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Black one's been out. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. See you later, Vesemir. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Just want to talk. You deaf, Stray. No one here will talk to you. If his company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast, she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. There are four factions. Four what? Factions! Teams! Suits! Similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own face cards. There are also special cards. Wouldn't you rather play war? It's like to be near dawn before you get your game in, me noggin. What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Take my advice. Go back to your books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend. No tenure to gain. End notes to compile. First soldier you see'll kill you. Why would he do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Uh -huh. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? 
No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. for a woman uh, like everyone not like everyone and not just any woman mine smells of lilac and gooseberries dresses in black and white two schnapsies <laughs> it'll lift your spirits fine I'll have a drink can we cut to the chase you seen her or not Jennifer of Wengerberg Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Ah, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your health. You seen Yennefer? 
deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Che, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. <laughs> his head back on. Word is, they laid his corpse to rest. Oh, Watch it. Oh. I knows what I knows. Elsie bears her rump for the back. What's happened to your oh. mug? We meet again. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches, but I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? I I'll let it go half free. Let me have a look at your stock. What you got? Goidema, would you raise a glass with me? It's Durvan now. D E R V A N, not Goidema. Well, what do you mean? I know what they named you at your cutting. What kind of name is that anyway? Durvan. Nilfgaardian. My gran was from Nazare. Oh, so that's how it is. <laughs> Then by my leave, <laughs> may the gold sun guide you far away from my land. It's raining. We need Myrtle Gorse during the hungry gap. They've taken all our grain. What? What do you say? Who told you that? I know is what I know. Elsa bears her lump for the blossoms. Little whore. Never to see that line again. Never. And do not to play with Chetty. No more. Yes! A 
What? Up and smoke! What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got it nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set alight me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Bootprints. A man's. Large. Stinks of piss and vodka. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. What happened to your mother? <gasps> Can't decide. Should we draw it or not? Something jumped out of the rushes. Something. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Not with so many corpses. Lost his boots in the rush. Sure to be poison. Sure? Not so sure. Who knows? Will you Tracks lead back to the village. Instead? Not in your life. I'd rather be ill than disturb a ghost. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Me grand told me about the smith's boy. Making me a slingshot. Lad went missing one day, so I poked lad a witch that was hunting nearby. Started poking him, asking. When he started twisting... The trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Browner claw marks. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner? What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. And I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Calm down. Now follow me. Looking for trouble? Settlers all 
south of the Yoruba and bring in the guardians to farm our land. Oh, bigger bollocks than a new rat's <laughs> Up and at him. Hmm? What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Now? You! I knew your mom for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you, I, 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 I was drunk, didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Villagers will really love you now. Well, no, I don't give a flying fuck about them. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil's still whole, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Show me what you got. So long. Come on. Uh. Something else you'll be needing. Elf guardian rule to your liking? What's there to like? It is the same as any other. They tax us, requisition this or that. But they do keep the peace in the village, I'll grant them that. You don't mourn Tamaria's passing? I mourned it round half a year back, when King Foltes was cut down. Now, now I just want peace. Farewell. <laughs> that often? Talk to your dog? It's my brother's, Bastion's. But, I guess he's mine now. See, Bastion fought the Black Ones in a battle just outside the village. I haven't had word of him since. I told him, do like I did, lose a finger or two so they won't recruit you. Too damn afraid he was. Bloody hell. I'd walk the battlefield if I were you. I did. A sea of corpses. And corpses feeding. Someone told me they were feared of fire, so I took a torch, tried to chase them off. Horse shite, I tell you. Would have ended up eaten alive if it weren't for Hussar here. Listen, guessing you carry those swords for more than show. Come with me, keep the ghouls off. Help me find Bastion and I'll pay you well. Fine, I'll help you. Just been a few days since the battle. Chances we find your brother alive are slim. Very slim. I would have thought, but I want to find his body at least. So Bastion don't rot there in the sun with the black ones. Meet me on the hill overlooking the battlefield. We'll move on together from there.
you're here, good. Bastion... His body must be here somewhere. Among countless others. Want to examine them one by one? Could take a while. You needn't fret. The recruits from White Orchard painted a small flower on their shields so as to be able to spot each other in battle. There was just a few of them. We look for the flowers, we'll find Bastion quick. No offense, but... Many a soldiers dropped his shield. Especially if he was on the losing side. If we find the shield alone, Hassan will catch the scent and lead us to Bastion. Come on. Sooner we get this done, the better. So many corpses. And the war's just started. Doesn't look anything like him. Come on, Hassar. Can you smell Bastion, boy? Uh, still nothing. Uh, skin's burned off. Might be hard to tell, I know, but could this be him? Oh, yeah. Bastion was big, broad shouldered. This one seems smaller, but maybe it's the fire did that. Him. Hassar's caught his scent! Come on! But there is more. My lieutenant demanded we defecate on command. Ballista bolts, landing all around, and all he could say was, A soldier with a full stomach will not step onto the battlefield. Now shit, that is an order. Can you believe it? The cretin. Stop! Oh, you're, oh, you're killing me. My, my ribs. Oh, it hurts to laugh. That needs a tourniquet. But first, want to explain what's going on here? Bastion! Is he... Has this Nilf Guardian captured you? No. He saved my life. I, I got a cut to me side, and then got hit in the head. Couldn't see anything. Rosinia found me as, as he crawled across the battlefield. His legs twisted, and so we were. A blind man leading a cripple. Found this place. I'm taking you home. We need to see to these wounds. I won't leave Rosinia. I'll own he'll die. And he can't go back to his home. He's deserted. They'll hang him. And what if they find him with us? They'll hang us all, my Laisha included. No, the Blackened stays here. Bastion only made it with the Black One's help. Maybe you ought to show him Nordlings aren't as barbarous as Nilfgaardians make us out to be. Well, I could give him our pa's clothes, teach him to work the field, but that accent. Fine, I'll take him in. Thank you, Witcher. Your reward, and the gods protect you.